surprise, motherfucker. No! God! Welcome to the channel guardians in today's video we are taking a look at the legendary slug shotgun the first in last out now you are able to farm this shotgun we're gonna go over the perks the stats and of course i've got some pvp gameplay so let's get into it now for the rolls that i got on mine fluted barrel and small bore neither one of these are the barrel that i wanted i wanted hammer forged or full bore right here those two barrels give the most range and over here we have accurized rounds for more range slide shot sliding partially reloads his weapons magazine and temporarily boost range and stability and then we have opening shot to once again extend the range and then we got that crispy range masterwork with an icarus grip mod so this isn't a max range first and last out it's almost there it's close it's just missing the barrel now the perks you guys want to look out for in pvp is slide shot and opening shot and for pve auto loading holster and surrounded is a really good perk combination because don't forget these things did receive a buff not too long ago in pve and it was a pretty hefty buff so something like auto loading holster where you don't have to worry about loading and then surrounded you get that extra increased damage in pve really really good now why exactly are we talking about this weapon is it god tier is it special you know what i played with this gun all day the other day and i gotta say it just feels like a normal slug shotgun in my opinion that it didn't really feel special and there's nothing special about it there's no crazy god tier perk combination you can get on this if you take a look right here we also have the Ganora's axe iron banner slug shotgun and as you can see the Ganora's axe it's got better range got better stability better handling better reload speed more aim assistance like the base stats on this first in last out aren't that great the only thing that makes this weapon a little bit special is this light level number right here it's able to be infused to light level 1360 and all the other slug shotguns are getting sunset except for the chaperone but the chaperone is in the kinetic slot so if you like using another primary in your kinetic slot but you really like using slug shotguns what i'm saying is this one is pretty much your only option right now if you're a guardian who likes to compete in end game activities that is now guardians if you want this shotgun for yourself you can farm it head on over to your prismatic recaster over by drifter head on into the umbral focusing and right here the cqc focus umbral will grant you a chance to get the submachine gun or the shotgun we're gonna head into the crucible to try this bad boy out but if you guys are new here be sure to subscribe to the channel for more destiny 2 don't forget to head on over to my twitch and follow me over there it's free to do you just gotta press a button and you can hang out with me live on twitch link is in the description and with that being said then check this out <laughs> Oh! Zone B. And that's why we have fire teams. You have my respect, Hunter. You have zone advantage. Here he comes. Oh. behind oh 
Oh, he's got power. Oh, the Wither Horde. <laughs> Enemy has a power play. Mom B. Surprise, motherfucker. No! I know what comeback when I see Fight on. Got him. <clears throat> I told it's still close. You're in the lead. Got him again. Get on his head. Fire you have advantage. Two for one. strong and this battle is yours zone B captured zone advantage is yours let's go victory is all I have. yes <laughs> you guys get a five <laughs> 30 with a 7.5 damn boy